What's up boys and girls, it is Ruthless here and today I'm making a video showing you guys how to uh, get a marker to come up after an NPC has died or a vehicle has been blown up. I'm going to run through this very quickly, uh, so just pay attention. I'm going to throw down a Rifleman AT. This is what's going to be blowing up the vehicle. Uh, you have to do nothing with him, that's just going to be my playable dude. And we're going to hop in the civilian. We're going to throw down just this guy with the, uh, the hat, why not? We'll put him right here and we will call him man. The variable name is very important as this is what the action is called um, to uh, for you guys to do this. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll put him as man and we will go ahead and put in a vehicle as well uh, for you guys. So I will just put van services. Why not? And we're going to call uh, this vehicle van so the variable names are very important we'll have uh, this vehicle come down the road I'll put a move marker for it to come right here and we'll put a move marker for this man to run straight to us and go full um, so this is gonna be very quick very straightforward so we're gonna throw down a trigger and for the condition, we're going to do a live, we're going to do man. So we're going to do the man first. And then the on action, we're going to put a hint, uh, just so we know. Man is dead. Uh, that's going to be our hint. You guys do not have to put in hint, but I'm just going to do one uh, for the sake of this. We're going to do a uh, marker equals create marker. So this is what's going to make the actual marker itself. This next part... Um, I'm just going to call him Dead Man. That's going to be the name of the actual marker. Not the text. So, like, you know how the text can pop up on the map? It's not going to be the text of the marker. It's going to be, like, the actual, like, uh, variable name for the marker. Uh, this part's very important. Get position. So, this is what's going to get the position of our man. Uh, this is going to be your variable name for whatever you're trying to have destroyed. Um, so, just make sure you have this correct or else it just won't work. It's going to be the same thing for this. Uh, so it's going to get the position of the man. Then we're going to do marker set. I don't know why I capitalized that. Set marker type. So this right here, um, I actually, we'll, we'll see if I can come out of this. All right, we'll, we'll finish this one real quick. So mill underscore warning is going to be the marker that we're going to use um, for this. So the way you find out the, the marker names is you come into here and you can look uh, underneath the actual like name. So it'll say start underneath that. It'll say mill underscore start when you hover over it. And the same thing for the colors. If you place down a marker and you go to the colors, if you hover over the colors, it, it will tell you the, uh, the color of each one. Uh, we'll, get, we'll get to the colors in a second though. All right, so we'll get right back into it. So mill underscore warning, that's going to be the one we're going to use for the uh, first marker. After that's done, we're going to do marker. We're going to set marker size. So this is going to be the size of the marker. Um, one, one comma one is going to be like the default um, marker like size that Arma does when you place down a marker. Uh, if you guys want it to be bigger, you have to change both of these to the exact um, same amount. And it changes like dract drastically from when you uh, change your marker uh, size. So this next one is set marker color. Actually, we'll make sure that we have this uh, correct. So set marker color. We're going to do color uh, red just for the sake. And we will do marker. Then set marker text. So the set marker text, you don't have to have this as well. Um, but uh, the marker text is what's going to like go on the side of the marker when it places. Uh, you do not have to have this, um, but it's definitely nice to have, uh, in my opinion. So we're going to go in and copy and paste this trigger. And we're going to just rename this to van. And then we're going to go find our get position. We're going to rename this to van. We're going to put van. The van is dead. We're going to call it dead van. Dead van. 
And we're going to change the color to pink. So color pink. And we're going to change the marker to C underscore car. Did I just space that out? There we go. C underscore car. That's what we're going to do. All right. So now when we go into the actual mission itself, it'll, uh, it'll shoot us in very quickly. And uh, once we load in, we'll uh, do everything. So we'll, we'll take out the man first. I'm not sure why it's taking so long. I'm not going to worry about it, though. It's probably I've had this uh, game open for quite a long time. Not going to not going to lie. All right. So that's going to be our van over there. We're going to kill the man first, uh, just for the fact that he's going to run away as soon as we shoot a rocket off. So he's going to go down. It's going to say the man is dead. And it's going to put a marker down right where he died at. It's going to be dead man. So I'm going to just go stand right on top of his body. And uh, he is dead. The same effect will happen for the uh, van here. So I'm going to kill the van. It'll take a second. It'll, it'll, it'll uh, explode. We'll just take a sec. Once it explodes. Um... Okay. Maybe. There we go. All right. Now that it's exploded, it'll pop up on the map and it'll say dead van. And it's going to have a little car uh, thing next to it. And uh, that, that's that's pretty much the whole tutorial. That's all wrapped up. So that's how you do it for uh, civilians and for vehicles. It's the same concept for both. Uh, nothing's really different other than your variable names. So just make sure that you guys have those variable names. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, let me know in the comments. If I respond, uh, go ahead and uh, join my Discord and just message me. And I'll get back to you very soon. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another uh, tutorial. So uh, peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.